Once again, unfortunately, the country has lost two political leaders. Machako Senator Boniface Motinda Kabaka died days after he was hospitalized after collapsing at a restaurant in Nairobi. Former Cooperative Development Minister Joe Nyaga succumbed to COVID-19 in hospital. Kennedy Morevi has that story. After days in ICU at the Nairobi hospital where he was being treated for an undisclosed ailment, Machako Senator Boniface Kabaka has finally breathed his last. According to official information, the first time Senator succumbed to a clot in his brain that burst and caused hemorrhage. He died at about 8.45 Friday morning. A host of leaders trooped to the hospital to stand by the family, as well as give the way forward. The senator was rushed to hospital late last week by a lady who was with him at a restaurant in Nairobi. She was earlier arrested, then later released unconditionally. Waipa party leader Kalonzo Musioka led a host of politicians in eulogizing the senator. Hili ni pigo kubwa sana, sio tu kwa jamii na watu wa machakos, bali pia Kenya nzima. Uyu ndugu ambaye amelala alikuwa ameonyesha ujasiri wa ajabu. Ni mwanasheria ambaye alikuwa na kipawa kizuri sana cha kutetea haki ya wanadamu na haki ya wa Kenya. On behalf of the senators, I want to convey our sincere condolences to the family and those who know Kabaka. He was a very friendly senator to every senator who is here the 68 of us in senate fanya juu chini kupitia kwa bunge la senate kumtafutia daktari ambaye ni mashuhuri anaitwa dr Musau ili ajaribu akoe maisha yake kwa sababu alikuwa hatarini na alimpasua kichwa na akaweza aka kusimamisha damu ambayo alikuwa anafuja lakini ile damage ambayo alikuwa imefanyika kwa senator Kabaka ilikuwa ya juu sana COVID-19 has also claimed yet another life. 2017 presidential candidate Joe Nyaga succumbed at the age of 72. The one-time minister in President Mwai Kibaki's government had taken a back seat in active politics after he stabbed at the presidency in 2017. He has been eulogized as an astute politician and a leader who stood for what was right. Nyaga had served in government since the late President Daniel Moy's era where he was first appointed the CEO of Kenya Airways, Kennedy Morevi, and TV.